<clears throat> Hi, it's good to have you here with me. Thank you for joining me. Let's begin with our special greeting. The Lord be with you and also with you. Oh God, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Spirit, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And those words tell us that it's time to get ready for a special story. I wonder what this might be. I wonder if it's a parable. It might be. Parables are very precious, like gold. And this box is gold. It looks like a present. Parables are like presents. They have already been given to us. We can't buy them or take them or steal them. They're already ours. There's another reason why this might be a parable. It has a lid. And sometimes parables have lids on them. But when you lift the lid of a parable, there is something very special inside. I don't know. Let's take the lid off and see if there and see if this is a parable. this green spot mean? I wonder what could be so green? Could it be one of those things in a pond that frogs sit on? Or perhaps a leaf from a giant tree? I wonder if it's grass. I wonder what could be on the other side. And when you turn it over to the other side, it's still the other side. Make sure there are no wrinkles. That's better. Hmm. There's something else in the box. It's blue. I wonder what could be so blue. It could be water. Water is blue. I wonder if it's one of those things when you can that you look into and you can see your face. I wonder if it's like a mirror. Or maybe it's like a window. So you can look through to see what's on the other side.
Huh. There's more in the box. They're very dark. There's no light in them at all. And there are three. They look like shadows moving across the grass until they stop. Now they look like holes. Maybe they are so deep they absorb the light. It goes in, but it can't get out. Sometimes people see a face when there are dark parts. They're laid out like this. The face can look strange, doesn't it? There's no sparkle in the eye and there's no smile. What's this? There's strips. You can play with them and lay them out. They look like all kinds of things. If you lay them out like this, it could be a road. Or if you lay them out like this, it looks like two paths with a bridge connecting them. When they're closed, there's an inside and an outside. And if you're on the inside, does it feel too closed? Maybe we need to make a gate so you can go inside and outside. When the gate is closed, it is a safe place. There are more pieces. So we can make it a safe place. Move it. It's an inside and an outside. I wonder who lives here. Oh, it's a place for sheep. I wonder how many sheep there are. One, two, three, four, five. They look really happy inside. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, sometimes they just had to ask him who he was. Once when they asked him, he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each one of the sheep by name and they know the sound of my voice. So when I take the sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. And 
This is the Good Shepherd. I show them the way to the good grass and the way to the good water. And when there are places of danger, I show them the way through. I count each one as they go inside to the sheepfold. One sheep is missing. I would go anywhere to look for the lost sheep in the grass, by the water, and even in places of danger. When the lost sheep is found, I put him on my back and I carry him back to the sheepfold. When all my sheep are safe inside, I'm so happy. But I can't be happy all by myself, so I call all my friends, and then we have a great feast. This is the ordinary shepherd. When the ordinary shepherd takes the sheep from the sheepfold, the ordinary shepherd does not walk in front of the sheep to show them the way. So the sheep wander and scatter. And when the wolf comes, the ordinary shepherd runs away. But the good shepherd Stands between him and the sheep, and even gives his life for the sheep, so the sheep can return safely home.
I wonder if the sheep have names. I wonder if the sheep are happy in this place. I wonder how many sheep really could live in this place. I wonder if you've ever had to go through places of danger or were lost and someone found you. I wonder if the wolf has ever been close to you. I wonder if you've ever heard the good shepherd say your name. I wonder where this place might really be. I wonder where this whole place might really be. Now we're going to light our Christ candle. The story is from the book of John in the New Testament. Down here, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's the fourth gospel in the Bible. And we're going to read John chapter 10, verses 11 to 16. I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd gives up his life for his sheep. Hired workers are not like the shepherd. They don't own the sheep, and when they see a wolf coming, they run off and leave the sheep. When the wolf attacks and scatters the flock, hired workers run away because they don't care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and they know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father, and I will give up my life for my sheep. I have other sheep that are not in the sheep pen. I must bring them together too when they hear my voice. Then there will be one flock of sheep and one shepherd. Now we will change our light. The light that was once in one place at one time is now in all places at all times. And here, and even with you at home. And we'll sing our goodbye song. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go.